All right, I want to take just a couple minutes here to answer a lie that's been brought out against me. Um, that, and it's this blasphemous thing that Brian Denlinger created, the Godhead Doctrine. Um, okay, that's blasphemy. Uh, the Godhead is in Scripture. Okay, I didn't write Scripture. I didn't write this book. Um, to say that Brian Denlinger created the Godhead Doctrine, the Godhead Doctrine is in Scripture. For me to create it, I would have to be God. Okay, don't blaspheme the Lord. All right, but they say, oh, no, it's the teaching that Jesus is, you know, both Father and Son and Holy Spirit in one being. Uh, well, that's what the Bible teaches. And again, I've proved that in multiple studies, many, many, many studies. But they say, uh, this teaching was unheard of in the church. The Christian church did not teach this uh, at any time in history. There was no teaching like this. Well, let me just kind of clear that up. The church teaches. Interesting that uh, that supposed Bible-believing Christians uh, would use this term, the church. The church has never taught. The church has always taught. The church. That's what Catholics say. And look, it's written by Jesuit Fathers of St. Mary's College. Hmm. Interesting uh, that you have professing Christians on YouTube that use the same language. Hmm. Weird. Here you have the page 120, or excuse me, I'm not sure what page, yeah, I guess it's 124. The, there goes the bookmark. The Triune God. There you have it. It says over here on page 125, uh, we also, this is the Council of Rome in 382. Okay. And it says, we also, number two, we also anathematize those who follow the error of Sibelius, saying that the Father is the same person as the Son. Right there. So, you see, Bible believers have always been called heretics by the Catholic Church. Let me get my bookmark here quick. And uh, 382, they were condemning a man, this Sibelius guy, and I have no idea what else he taught, but the fact of the matter is somebody saying, Brian Denlinger has invented this teaching that the Father and the Son are one and the same person. Um, they're lying. It was condemned in 382 at the Council of Rome. The church has always taught. Well, that's true if you're a Catholic. Right? Not even sure where the thing's at in here. But, you know, this it's just absolute blasphemy to say that I'm the one that created this Godhead doctrine and that nobody before me ever taught this thing, that Jesus and the Father are one and the same. Uh, that's a lie. That's a total lie. I just showed you the proof from the Catholic book right there um, that liter literally uh, this whole, you know, teaching of Jesus being father and son, it was being condemned way back then in the fourth century. Not that long after the Catholic Church was founded, by the way, 325 AD. Um, you know, and I've showed this before, the Holy Trinity and the teaching of the faith, you know. You can see all that stuff there. You can pause it and read it. I'm going to read over just a few things here. Um, from the beginning, the revealed truth of the Holy Trinity has been at the very root of the church's living faith, principally by means of baptism. During the first centuries, the church sought to clarify its Trinitarian faith. Um, then it goes down through here. It says, um, In order to articulate the dogma of the Trinity, the church had to develop its own terminology with the help of certain notions of philosophical origin. Okay, they are admitting that the Trinity, word Trinity, came from, uh, I, you know, Tertullian was not part of the Catholic Church. He was before the Catholic Church was officially formed. But that pagan type of uh, philosophers and things like that, that that formed the Catholic Church, Tertullian was definitely part of that. He was one of the church fathers. Uh, he was not a saved man. I don't believe that Tertullian was saved for one minute. 
And that's where the Trinity teaching came from. Why on earth would you defend the thing? So uh, to say that, that I am the creator of the Godhead doctrine is absurd. And I'm seeing this thing now being perpetuated uh, out there that Denlinger is teaching a new doctrine. He's teaching a new thing. I am not. And again, go back to the scriptures. What do the scriptures say? You see, this is the standard. I'm not the standard, right? And the Bible plainly teaches that the Godhead is composed of Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. They're not one in essence or one in unity or one in whatever. They're one person. You will never find more than one person in the Godhead. One being in the Godhead. That is heresy. That is blasphemy. Okay? Be careful what you hear. Be careful who you listen to.